Police uh, say they don't want anyone walking into this crime scene and taking items for scrapping. So they've stationed a car here and two other cars here in the area uh, surrounding this home, which was reduced to rubble, as well as the homes in this area. Right now, investigators are still searching for a cause, but Dominion Gas has told News 5 they don't believe any of their equipment is to blame. They tell us they've checked the main lines here on East 125th, as well as the lines leading to the home at the center of this mess. They say those all checked out. Now, one woman was killed from the explosion. One man was badly burned and others were taken to the hospital with minor injuries. It happened on the border of Cleveland and East Cleveland, which one councilman tells us poses some problems. Yes, there is complications because you're on the border, on the border but um, we'll, we'll work through that. And we already started talking with the mayor of East Cleveland so that we can work through uh, the complications of cleaning up, the complications of uh, the investigation, the whole nine yards. Now, fire investigators will be back out here on the scene later today, sifting through the rubble, looking for a cause. We'll keep you updated on the very latest. Live in East Cleveland, Meg Shaw, News 5. All right, Meg, thank you. It appears a